It's Miracles Today with Billy Burke. Coming from Ruth Eckerd Hall in Clearwater, Florida, Billy Burke was healed of terminal brain cancer at a very early age at a Catherine Kuhlman service. Ms. Kuhlman called him out on the balcony, and when she touched him with the power of God, the cancer was completely gone. Today, Pastor Billy is taking that same healing power of God to the nations. Oh, no pain! No pain! I did my oh. I can see. I have my voice back, and I am cancer free. Isn't that amazing with that song, Everything is Possible with God? But let me tell you what everything means. Everything means your thing. Don't get caught up in all things and everything, and my God can do all this and all that. And yeah, He can, but He can also do you. You know, He's big enough for all of that, and yet He's big enough or small enough, however you want to say that, to commit and care about you. Remember, He's the God that knows everything. He knows the before, the during, and the after. And, you know, and doctors, God bless every doctor. I have a doctor. I have a nutritionist. I, I, I do my best to take care of the natural me. But natural doctors are trained in the laws of physiology. They're trained in the natural ways. So whenever they, they diagnose you and they plant you know, stuff inside of you, they don't mean to harm you. I don't think they're malicious. That's how they're trained. So whenever they say, you know, you'll be in this wheelchair forever, or you, you know, only by a miracle will you ever not have diabetes or, you know, this kidney's not going to last another six months. And they say that because that's how they're trained. Unfortunately, that seed gets inside of you. And that seed is corruptible. You know, we, we have a seed in the Word of God that's incorruptible. And that's why whenever you watch this broadcast and we show you these stories and, and we pray for you, and we bring people on this program live to give you their testimony. This is incorruptible seed. It's the only antidote for corruption or bad seed that's gone down inside of you, contaminated seed. And that's where the curse comes from. So no matter what's been said to you, no matter who has planted anything in you, I'm here to tell you that there is hope that you will see again and walk again and have, have a normal life again. I mean, we are seeing people have organs recreated, have death sentences canceled, and surgeries canceled. Why? Because that's what miracles are. Miracles aren't just getting prayer and falling down. Miracles are getting prayer and walking in something that doesn't make any sense. Whether you fall or whether you stand, whether you feel something or whether you don't, He is God, and He is on your side, and He's staging, He's setting you up for something so wonderful. And I pray that as you tune in here every week, we want to just feed you underneath the door and through the keyhole. We want to get you strong. And if you're not strong enough today, then I'm believing by a month from now you'll be strong, or two months from now, however long it takes to build you up, to believe that you are going to get something that is so amazing to change your life. And it's going to trickle down into your family, your grandchildren. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad you're watching me today and watching the broadcast today. Have some amazing, amazing testimonies here in this Toronto. We've been in Toronto now for over five years every month, and the miracles continue to just amaze all of us. We're going there right now. We have a man that was healed of this, all oh, this condition. Oh, it was just amazing how this condition had him bound for years. It was so rooted in him, it took him two to three years to get healed of it. And then on past there, we have another great story. Oh, just fasten your seatbelt. Let's go to Toronto quickly. Psoriasis. And yeah, I've had it for 15 years. You've had it for 50 years. 15. 15. Right. So you prayed for me in October. You said I would be healed. And since then, my stomach's all cleared up, my back's wow. cleared up. Are a lot better. Wow! I'd say it's over 50% healed. Huh? It's over 50% healed. Wow! You're better. watching it disappear. Yes. I got the worst case of psoriasis that my doctor had ever seen. Worst case of psoriasis your doctor has ever seen. And I was off work for 11 months because my hands peeled. 
and then you prayed for me and it's progressively healed it's 95 percent gone 90 come on i was told i was going to be nobody ever since i started coming here for the last two years coming here yes what i got the faith the hope. wait a minute back up Somebody told you you were going to be what? Nobody. Nobody. Because you're coming here. No, no. My since mother. You're... My mother, yeah. She goes, you joined that cult, that clan. You gave up your orthodox belief. And I've been in a car accident 2010, 2012. I got injured. I got healed. Here. From my back. Yeah, I got 80% healing in my back. And you know what? I'm ready to surrender all to Jesus Christ. Uh, because I'm done with fear, I'm done with anxiety, I'm done with depression. Hallelujah. I'm done with all this stuff that all these people told me I wasn't gonna be anybody. And I got healed from my eyes. What was wrong I with used your to eyes? wear sunglasses huh? in church. Black sunglasses. You had to wear black sunglasses yeah. in church. Because I, I couldn't see the light. I believe. The reason I'm here is Jesus is working on me. Amazing. Holy Ghost, I thank you for this man tonight. Healed in his eyes, healed in his back from the car accident. He stands for you, with you. Yes. He's making a stand in his family. I pray the power come on him tonight. I pray for a new set season of favor. Come on. A new set season of favor. I came last month and you prayed over me. Since then, I received ten thousand dollars. What? I got a brand new car. What? New girlfriend. What? And you know what? He was talking about exercising the faith. I started going to Universal Church again. It was three weeks ago on a Saturday, and the pastor prayed over me, and he said, "Do a sacrifice." And the Holy Spirit came over me and said, "Be obedient, Alex." Do something that's going to hurt. And I gave a $1,000. Dear Lord, Alex. And I was blessed a week after with 10. Thank you, Lord. $10,000, a new car, a new girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens when you get money in a nice car? See what happens? <laughs> a new girlfriend and, and a reinvigoration. Get... Yes. I lost 13 pounds, too. And you lost... <laughs> Great story. And how faithful have you been here? You've been faithful. Yes, here. for two years. And I'm so happy to be here today. Thank you, Lord. Because without you and your ministry and Pastor David and touching Toronto, who knows where I would be. As you watch today's broadcast of Miracles Today with Billy Burke, this powerful healing signal that's being broadcast to millions of people all over the world. Our prayer partners are standing by to pray for you. Call now and speak to someone who wants to pray for you to receive all that God has for you today. Call 844-A-MIRACLE. That's 844 and the letters A-MIRACLE. Call now. Amazing, this man got so wonderfully, 95%. How about that for exact? How about that for not under any kind of a pressure to be 100%? I mean, this man, it took him, what, one year, two years, I don't know if it's two, three years, and he just, he did it in the pace that God had for him. Never get into a pressure from your church, from Christians, from people around you. Of course, everybody wants it immediately, but sometimes there's something that God has to do in you first. I mean, he has to grow your strength, grow your faith. You know, he has to get you fully persuaded that he's able to do that. And sometimes we're just not always there. And so God has to work with where we are at times. I mean, sometimes you'll get healed instantly, and sometimes you'll get healed gradually. And the, the thing is that he wants to heal you in different ways in different seasons of your life. And I love that story because it just reeks with realness. Hi, I think I'm, you know, such and such a percentage, 60%, 65%, you know, 70%. Thinking back, 95%. He didn't say 100%. I was okay with that, and so was he. Why? I trust him. I trust him. 
And what did he do that was so wonderful? He gave God glory each time there was an increase. Each time you see improvement, give him the glory for I feel stronger. I'm seeing a little better. You know, I hear a little more clear. I don't have that burning as much. I, I don't need oxygen as much as I n used to need it. I can walk a little further than I could last week. All of that goes into progress, which means that God is actively working on the inside of you. It's amazing. It's a beautiful way to praise Him all through it, all through the journey of your miracle. And you know what? Not only will you receive your miracle, but when you see other people struggling to get all their miracle, you'll be able to say, hey, wait a minute. Took me three months. Took me a month. Took me a year. Hey, don't, don't, don't be under any pressure. Walk with Him. Trust Him. He's going to do for you what He did for me. What a great, great story. We've got a live guest today. Laura, who do we have on the broadcast Pastor today? Pastor Billy, we have Mary Missal. Mary Missal. And she has a healing of four That name rhymes. How'd you get the name Mary Missal? Oh, just from God. Just from God. Well, how about your parents? They probably gave it to you too, They did right? as well. Yes. And Mary, why are you with us today? Well, I went to your meeting in uh, Sarasota, Florida uh -huh. on August the 7th. It was a Sunday night. Uh -huh. And um, I had been having some problems on the right side. I had some discomfort pain oh, oh. on my right side, and I'd been to three doctors. And the first doctor said, oh, I think you're taking too many vitamins and supplements. Oh, so interesting. You're OK. Just stop taking so many vitamins. Oh, my. Well, I'd been taking them for years, so of course I didn't do that. So I found another doctor, and um, he said, well, maybe you have um, uh, diverticulitis or, uh -huh. or irritable bowel syndrome oh, and he gave me medicine. I didn't take the medicine. Right. Went to a third doctor. I said, we do a sonogram. And he did a sonogram of my abdominal area. Went back and he said, no, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Everything is good. You're a healthy woman. I said, but I have this discomfort. And that discomfort started to turn into pain mm. going around to my kidney area. Mm. And anyway, at your meeting, I went with my friends. And I was in the second row, and when you came out, you came out and you said, there's somebody here that has a pain in their right side, mm -hmm. and it comes and it goes. I looked at her and I said, <laughs> that's me. Is this amazing? But I, I said, but the doctors told me there's nothing wrong with me. People, just a minute, so you have I, to understand, you have to understand, see, this here is as enlightening to me as it is her. <laughs> Why? Because if I knew, then it wouldn't be a miracle. Oh, well, that's yes. what the way God works and when yes. he's in these gifts of the Spirit. Yes. This is the Holy Spirit. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. It's so amazing. you heard that and you were a surprise or shocked. Well, I thought, well, this is me, but I didn't go up. I didn't go up because the doctors told me I was okay. Oh. I was okay. So I didn't go up and then you went with your meeting, you know, and people were being healed. And before the meeting was over, you came and you walked over to me and you looked right at me and stood in front of me and said, what is it that I can pray for you for? Mm. I said, you know, <laughs> when you came out, I had that pain in my side, mm. but the doctor said I was okay. You said, get up, get up, come here right now, come here right now. Took me out into the aisle and you said, your problem is gallbladder problems. You have gallbladder problems. Oh. You have four kidney stones oh. and the Lord is dissolving them right now. And I went <laughs> down in the spirit and I could feel the power of God just working. <laughs> And he just totally healed me. He healed me. And what I do you mean he healed you? He, uh, what? The pain is gone. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. And the stones. I haven't had pain since. And the stones are gone. They're gone. They're dissolved. Get ready for the woman. They're Get gone. Ready for the woman. They're, They're gone. gone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. People right here, right now, the power of God's working, and he's moving on you. If he can dissolve four, I think she meant to say gallstones. If she can, if God can dissolve four gallstones in her bladder keep her from a surgeon's knife he can do what for you go to the phone now go to the phone now I have people waiting to pray for you go now we'll still be here but go now get that prayer into you right now you need that prayer of faith that prayer of healing come on we're waiting to reach out and touch you right now this is amazing oh my She's under the power. I can't talk to her anymore. This interview is over. We're going right now. We have Debbie Sperduto back with us to sing another great song. Let's go hear Debbie sing. Debbie. Jesus. 
Holy Spirit, I thank you. Holy Spirit, I give you such glory for touching your people. I pray your mighty power flow into the people even right now as they're all viewing this. Oh, God, that you would be their healer. Holy Spirit, that you would be their strength. Touch them, I pray, in an amazing way. So many cancers are being healed right this moment. All forms of cancer, lymphoma is being healed breast cancer being healed, colon cancer being healed, liver cancer being healed. There's someone with a brain tumor. You just found this out within the last couple of weeks about this malignancy. They want to rush you into treatment. Listen to me. There's a mighty, mighty healing flow coming into you right this moment. We give you praise. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. I'll touch your people. Cataracts are leaving. God's removing cataracts and glaucoma, being wonderfully healed by the mighty power. Oh, we thank you, dear Lord. We thank you, dear Jesus. Jose, someone named Jose. Jose, the power of God's all over you, Jose. God's been chasing you for some time, and he's saying now is your moment to not just come back to him, but to walk into a place of abundance. Oh, I just sense this, the, the abundant spirit coming on you, Jose. That's the power of God. You just can't get rid of the guilt and the shame. And guess what? God's breaking through with his mighty love, setting you completely free by his power. There's a lady watching me. You've had crooked toes, one on top of the other. And if you look down at your feet, ma'am, God is straightening out all of your toes. I know it's amazing, isn't it? Hurry and call. Let one of my people know that I'm the lady with the crooked toes that are going straight. Somebody with the cortex, top of your tailbone, being wonderfully touched by the power of the Holy Spirit. You just, you've been having so much chronic pain with that. Herniated disc being wonderfully healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Quickly, quickly call that number. Please call that number. Just, just finish it. Let's seal the deal. Let's believe that this is your moment. Please don't just sit and watch me after you hear this. If this is you, and I know there's many of you that it is you, get up off that chair. You know why they call that a lazy chair? Because it makes you lazy. Get out of that lazy chair and get out of that spirit and run to that phone. Or if your cell phone is close by, jump on that cell phone. However you have to do this and get your faith joined to one of the people here in the counseling, in the, in the prayer line, in that healing prayer place. Please do this now so that God's power can get, be infused into your complete system. There's candida being flushed out of some. There's several of you. There's seven, eight, nine. There's 12 people. Candida is being flushed through your system. I mean, this is a yeast infection. There's urinary tract infection being wonderfully healed as well. We give God praise for that. We give him praise. Someone has had some of your spleen cut, some of your liver cut, some of your lung cut. God said he's th growing back all three parts to every single one of your organs that's been snipped. God said, you tell them I'm bringing that all back. The spleen of the lungs is bringing it all back into you in the next six, seven, eight, nine. And within the next 12 months, every place that's been cut off will be completely grown back. Oh my, people, get on those phone lines. The power of God is so real. I just tell you in the studio here, the anointing is just getting stronger and stronger. Many, many are experiencing the Holy Spirit. Don't wait for me to call it out. Many of you have been stirred. And if you've been stirred, you don't need me to call out your condition. If you're stirred and your faith is moving, go to the phone. 
You know, just say, he didn't call my condition up, but I have strep throat. He didn't call my condition up, but I have HIV. And you don't need me to call it out. You need the Holy Spirit to prompt you for him to call it out to you. And that's what this program's all about. It's about, yeah, we'll call some up, but God wants to get in there and ignite your faith and stir you up on the inside and make you realize there is help, there is hope, and there is a God that's reaching for you in this hour of your life. You're not stuck. You're not at a dead end. Everybody isn't against you. And even if they were, God is for you. That changes the balance of power. Oh, Lord, touch them, I pray. In Jesus, Jesus, mighty name. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is so amazing being with you. I just tell you what, it, it just moves me to be able to know that we're able to bring hope to you and faith to you. I just want you to know that I love you deeply. I pray for you continually. And I just know that I know that I know that visitation has been scheduled for your home and is coming very, very shortly. God bless you. We'll be right back. Many love the Lord and desire to walk with Him closer each day, but yet seem to continuously struggle with the same sins or bondages over and over. If that describes you or someone you know, Billy Burke has a new two-part teaching series titled Soul Cleanse, just for you. 1 John 1, 9 in the Bible says that God is faithful to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In this series, Billy Burke explains how God has made provision for us to not only receive our forgiveness, but also to receive our complete cleansing as well. Get a hold of this. I believe it'll change your life and get you on the road, not just to healing, but to a wholeness maybe you've never, ever experienced. For a gift of $20 to the ministry, Billy Burke is making this valuable two-part series available to you. To receive your copy of Soul Cleanse, please go to billyburke.org. This series could revolutionize your life. Pastor Billy's World Outreach website is a wonderful tool designed just for you, no matter what you're going through. You'll see many things that will greatly help you, like Pastor Billy's Word of the Week. Just click on the triangle and enjoy a special word that's new every week. Or go over to the Miracles Today window where you can watch past shows or enjoy the most recent Miracles Today broadcast. It's Miracles Today with Billy Burke. You can also visit the Crusade itinerary window and see when Pastor Billy will be in your area again. There's so much to experience like what to do when you are beginning your healing experience. You can encourage your faith by clicking on the Miracle Theater, which documents God's amazing healing power through the many lives that forever were changed through this ministry. And you can pick up valuable resources that will help you gain a stronger walk with the Lord, a more powerful faith life, and receive the amazing breakthrough that you're believing for. Why not visit BillyBurke.org after the broadcast and just take a look around? You'll be glad you did. You know, I'm always, always elated to know that, that God is using this broadcast in some way to help people. And if you've been helped in any way, if, if you sense that God is working out something in your body, in your mind, in your life, let me know. I want to know about it. We, wanna, we have a great prayer team here, and we want to continue to put you in the prayer journey and keep you, you know, before the Lord so that this yoke breaks, you know, sooner than later. And just remember this, is that, you know, as long as you don't quit, you can't lose. Why? Because God's on your side. He really, really is. Go to my website at billyburke.org. See what we have there for you to bless you with. Get into one of our services. And just remember, always remember that everything is possible with God. Until we see you again, bye-bye. Join hands with Billy Burke as he takes the miracle healing power of God around the world. Your prayers and financial support to this ministry can make all the difference. Your gift is so appreciated. Please visit BillyBurke.org or in the U.S. write Billy Burke World Outreach, P.O. Box 25441, Tampa, Florida, 33622 or call 888, the number 7 and the word HEALED. In Canada, please visit touchingtoronto.com or write to Touching Toronto in care of Selwyn Outreach Centre, 2686 Lakefield Road, Selwyn, Ontario, K9J6X5. 